This week on WealthWise, learn how to determine how much risk to take and what is your risk threshold. Stay tuned for more. If you want the potential for more returns, you need to accept more risk and likely greater fluctuations in value. Sometimes these risks pay off with more return, but sometimes they result in losses. Although adding more unique sources of risk and return can create a portfolio with steadier growth, you shouldn't take more risk than you're comfortable with. Your time horizon is how long you have for your investments to grow before you consider accessing these funds so that you might apply the proceeds towards your goals. Think about whether you are investing for the near future or for a goal further down the road. If your timeline is longer, you may be able to weather short-term volatility and allow your investments the potential for greater growth over the long term. Another factor you may want to take into account is whether you'll need to access your assets quickly. Some assets are more liquid than others, meaning they are easier to convert to cash. Once you know your goals, you'll want to understand how much risk you believe you can afford to take on and still sleep at night. That's your risk tolerance. To help determine the amount of risk you can afford to take with your investments, consider things like your income, your overall financial resources, along with how much time you may have for reaching your goals. Managing risk is a balancing act, and you may need to make some tough choices, but as long as you're aware of how much risk you can take and how much risk you may need to take to reach your goals, you can develop a strategy that aligns with your objectives. Keep in mind that your risk tolerance is fluid. It may change based on your salary, disposable income, and your age. Defining your risk tolerance is important and very personal, so work with a fiduciary advisor to help you determine what's appropriate for you. Thanks for watching WealthWise. We'll see you next time.